Boop, 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 boop. Another day, another MLM company getting sued. Ooh, 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 and I'm feeling well, hi there, my lemon slices, and welcome back to the lemonade stand. I guess I talk with my hands now. Or welcome if you are new. My name is Brianna. I'm a certified personal trainer, a big, huge biology nerd, and a hashtag RD2B. That means registered dietitian to be because I'm still in school. And today, Beachbody LLC slash body is getting sued. Not today. The news dropped a few weeks ago, but I'm, uh, we're talking about it today. So this video is, uh, you know, gonna be a little different than all the rest of my other videos. This one doesn't really fit into any of my other regular series. So I don't know, let's just call this one a freebie. But I definitely did wanna talk about it because it has to do with a multi-level marketing company that I talk about quite a bit on my channel. So before we proceed, if you love science-based health, wellness, and fitness education with some lulls and lots and lots of dry sarcasm on the way, hit that subscribe button and join the lemonade stand because I would truly, Love to have you here. All right, let's make some lemonade. First things first, my shirt is thrifted. I got it from a thrift store a couple weeks ago when I was in Raleigh for my birthday. It says, you're killing me, Smalls. Some of you may be too young to know what that is. <laughs> so in case you live under a rock and that rock is deep in the Amazon rainforest and you've never seen a white man. Let me answer the question, what is Beachbody slash body? First off, I've been switching back and forth between Beachbody and body, and that's not intentional, but just calling it Beachbody at this point is just a reflex. Beachbody has recently, like, and when I say recently, I mean like in the last few months, rebranded to body. Something that they're really trying to just bring about to their branding now is like the health esteem, the inclusivity of body positivity, and just inclusivity in general. This whole push for body positivity, inclusivity thing is just really funny to me because we all remember when the most popular beach body super trainer, Autumn Calabrese, went off on a rant about how body positivity is bullshit. And yes, she used that word. I think I actually, I reacted to that clip in a live a few months back. We all remember that, okay? Don't you guys remember? Pepperidge Farm remembers. So anyway, what is Beachbody slash body? Beachbody slash body is a multi-level marketing company that specializes in the sale and distribution of dietary supplements, fitness programs, and nutrition programs. For example, the 21 day fix, AKA the portion fix, or if you've ever heard the exercise program, Insanity. Those are just examples of really popular programs that are synonymous by be with Beachbody because they were created by Beachbody super trainers who are affiliated with the company. So Beachbody's main calling is health, wellness, fitness, weight loss, blah, 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 blah. But in recent years, as the message of the anti MLM movement uh, has grown, many people who were once affiliated with Beachbody or even just were customers of Beachbody, like just did the workouts or were in some kind of group or something like that. A lot of people have come forward saying that this very atmosphere, this healthy lifestyle that was promoted by uh, representatives of the company, you know, usually their upline, um, was the impetus for disordered eating tendencies and full-blown eating disorders. I still get comments to this day on a lot of my Beachbody videos of people being like, I left Beachbody five years ago and I'm still recovering from my eating disorder. It's very sad. Um, so if you're here, you're probably very familiar with this scrutiny that they have drawn as a company. So what's this lawsuit all about? This lawsuit really isn't about um, what they sell. The lawsuit is more about <clears throat> the business structure. Once again, Beachbody slash body is a multi-level marketing company. This means that much of their advertising and sales are carried out by a sales force of consultants who buy into the opportunity. And the company does not have to pay them a regular salary and they're not required to offer them certain benefits that you may find in a typical nine to five job because of the business structure. What opportunity, you might ask? Well, <laughs> that would be the business. Free trips, financial financial freedom, time freedom. Those are not claims that I'm making. Those are claims that we frequently have heard made by representatives of the company. Any of us who have spent time in or even just around two multi-level marketing companies, whenever you see someone trying to entice someone into the business opportunity, those are very popular claims that are used to try and entice people to joining the company, recruit people. That's what I mean when I say, get them to join the business. It's recruiting. The reality of this, however, involves a lot of work with very little to no monetary return for you, the representative, but it almost always does benefit your upline. So you're spending money every single month to keep your account active. You may spend money on things like advertising for the business, like maybe you're paying for social media ads. You're expected to sit on weekly, maybe even daily. I've seen sometimes Zoom calls, um, which in Beachbody, they, they call them power hours where they basically all just sit on a Zoom call. If you've watched like a reaction to an MLM like Zoom call, 
you probably, you know what I'm talking about. It's the uplines up there. And then you see everybody else is on their computer and they're all sitting there. And the upline is just, you know, droning on and on about people you need to work hard enough. Or sometimes if in a Beachbody power hour, I guess they all sit on a Zoom call, mute themselves. And then they just spend an hour or however long just sending hey girls to people in their DMs. And they're really living the dream. The reason hey girls are being sent is because recruitment is really emphasized in Beachbody and a lot of multi-level marketing companies that we see and hear of today. Because of this factors and many others, Beachbody is sometimes called a pyramid scheme. I'm not calling it a pyramid scheme. I'm just saying things that I have heard other people say. I didn't say Beach Buys Pyramid Scheme. So where are we at now? Well, we, and by we, I mean, Beachbody, the corporation is facing a class action lawsuit. And I must say, it's about damn time. It's about damn time. So I just want to talk about the details that we know so far about the lawsuit because I'm sure more information is going to come out later because legal stuff takes forever. Believe me, I know. You guys, remember this? I have yet to find a place to, to hang this up because I want it to like be behind me, but I don't really have like a blank wall that I can hang stuff. Yeah, this is the uh, cease and desist that Melissa McAllister sent me. Put in a frame. I framed it. You guys remember when Melissa McAllister threatened to sue me? I remember. Pepperidge Farm remembers. I wonder how long I'm gonna keep that Pepperidge Farms bit up. So anyway, Beachbody, big major corporation. We've all heard of Beachbody before. So plenty of news publications have already shared about it. One website I came across called Legal Dive discusses it in a way that's really easy for those of us who were too dumb to go to law school, such as myself, to understand. It, it discusses it in a way that makes it easy to understand, which is great. So I'm gonna be referencing that site as well as um, a few others for this video. So first off, what is a class action lawsuit? Because a class action lawsuit is different than just a regular lawsuit. It's different than the kind of lawsuit that Melissa McAllister said she was gonna bring against me, but never did. And now she can't anymore because the statute of limitations has expired. A class action lawsuit is like a big boy lawsuit. From cornelllaw.edu, a class action is a procedural device that permits one or more plaintiffs to file and prosecute a lawsuit on behalf of a larger group or class. Put simply, the device allows courts to manage lawsuits that would otherwise be unmanageable if each class member, individuals who have suffered the same wrong at the hands of the defendant, were required to be joined in the lawsuit as a named plaintiff. So this lawsuit being a class action lawsuit means it's being presented by a group of people rather than a single individual. And this entire group of people has similar grievances. The lawsuit was filed May 22nd of this year, 2023, in the sunny state of California. So this suit has been spearheaded by a woman named Jessica Lyons. According to peoplemagazine.com, Jessica is is a school teacher and she joined uh, Beachbody in 2016. Like many who buy into the multi-level marketing business, quote unquote, opportunity, Jessica thought that joining Beachbody would afford her an additional stream of income, something that whoever recruited her probably exploited being that she's a teacher. And teachers are notoriously, here in the United States anyway, um, notoriously overworked and underpaid. Teachers are straight up out here doing the Lord's work, okay? They have to deal with people's spawns of Satan, AKA children for six hours a day for $40,000 a year. And on top of that, now they have to be worried about being massacred at their job anyway. So unsurprisingly, Jessica's experience with Beachbody was far from what she was promised. Jessica told People Magazine the following, I thought becoming a coach for Beachbody was my opportunity to add a second stream of income with an added bonus of helping others reach their fitness goals, Lyons said. I didn't realize how much Beachbody would demand of me and how little income I would see in return. This is a tale as old as time. We've heard the same story time and time and time again with victims. Yes, I said victims of multi-level marketing companies. And once again, teachers are very often targeted for the fact that they're overworked and underpaid. Jessica went on to tell People Magazine that she spent about $20,000 of her own money on things like travel and Beachbody products. I don't know this for sure. The article didn't specify, I'm willing to bet that that probably means like traveling expenses to Summit. For those of you who don't know, Summit is uh, Beachbody's annual convention. Like a lot of multi-level marketing companies, they have an annual convention. They do things like debut new products, have motivational speakers, and some say brainwash you further to keep you in the company and keep you from realizing that you're barely making money or losing money or just otherwise wanna leave. So in the case of Jessica Lyon, she told People Magazine that she made uh, about $50 a month in commission 
Reminder, she spent just about $20,000 being in the company. I don't remember reading how long she was in the company, but I just feel like it doesn't even matter how long you're in the company. I'm not a mathematician, but I'd say that's a terrible return on investment. Spending $20,000 and making about $50 a month in return. That's... That's, that's abhorrent. So some of the things that they're seeking with this suit are recovery of unpaid wages, compensation for overtime work, penalties, damages, and reasonable attorney fees. Now, something that I immediately found interesting about this suit was, I feel like you could say this about just about every multi-level marketing company. The cornerstone of just about every MLM company is having a labor force that you don't have to pay a typical salary wage. Not only that, but this labor force pays you, the company, to work there. These workers advertise for the company for free. They spread the word of the company for free. All the while, the company doesn't have to pay them a dime and a standard salary, except on the commissions of the sales of product or services and the occasional bonus that a representative might get if they're like, you know, really high up in the company. That's how most multi-level marketing companies operate. So what is Beachbody's defense here? That is what is interesting about this. So what we're about to get into is something that's very specific to California law and Beachbody is leveraging this as their defense in this suit. A spokesperson for Beachbody made the following statement to People Magazine. The independent contractor status of direct sellers is well recognized on a federal and state level. California's updated contractor law, AB5, includes an express exemption for network marketing distributors as part of a well-established legal framework that allows distributors to remain independent and allows them to work as as much or as little as they want, controlling their own schedules. We will vigorously defend ourselves against these allegations. This is what makes this suit so interesting. It gives Beachbody a defense that many multi-level marketing companies who have been faced with similar accusations before have not been able to use. So this updated California law regarding independent contractors is referred to as AB5. So what is it? Directly from ftbfranchisetaxboard.ca.gov, AB5 is a bill the governor signed into law in September 2019 addressing employment status when a hiring entity claims that the person it hired is an independent contractor. AB5 requires the application of the ABC test to determine if workers in California are employees or independent contractors for purposes of the labor code, the unemployment insurance code, and the industrial welfare commission, IWC, wage orders. So what is this ABC test, you might be wondering? Well, let me just tell you. You guys gather around and let me drop a hot steaming pile of knowledge right on your face. So in layman's terms, based on the results of the ABC test, it basically says that a worker is an employee and not an independent contractor unless three specific conditions are met. So what are those three conditions? From legaldive.com, California, where the Beachbody lawsuit was filed, has been testing a ground for the future of progressive labor law when it comes to independent contractor rules. California Assembly Bill 5, or AB 5, took effect in January of 2020, establishing a three-pronged ABC test, which requires a worker to be classified as an employee unless they meet all three conditions. One, the worker is free from the control and direction of the hiring entity in connection with the performance of the work, both under the contract for the performance of the work. And in fact, two, the person performs work that is outside the hiring entity's business. And three, the person is routinely doing work in an independently established trade, occupation, or business that is the same as the work being requested and performed. So to finish uh, Legal Dive's coverage on this, they concluded with the following. The Beachbody complainant is not the first to use AB5 to call into question the MLM industry's reliance on workers' independent contractor classification. An Amway Corporation worker filed suit in 2020 in Oraj v. Amway Corporation, alleging the corporation misclassified him due to the then newly amended AB5 test. As of the most recent court filings, the case appears to be heading toward arbitration. Now, one thing that this suit alleges is that Beachbody misclassified these people as independent contractors. People Magazine reported that the lawsuit alleges that Beachbody, quote, exploited its California sales force by misclassifying them as independent contractors rather than employees, end quote. Now, if this is true, and Beachbody slash Body, the corporation did misclassify these people, the plaintiffs, the people who are bringing the suit, 
I think they would be called plaintiffs, right? If Beachbody slash Body did misclassify them as independent contractors when in fact they should have been employees, that is a big problem. From the California Department of Industrial Relations, are there penalties for misclassifying workers as independent contractors? Yes. In addition to penalties that may be assessed for wage violations associated with a worker being misclassified as an independent contractor, there are civil pen penalties for willful misclassification. Under Label Code Section 226.8, which prohibits the willful misclassification of individuals as independent contractors, there are civil pen penalties of between $5,000 and $25,000 per violation. Willful misclassification is defined as voluntarily and knowingly misclassifying an employee as an independent contractor. So when I first heard about the broad strokes of this lawsuit, my very first thought was, well, can't you say that about every MLM company? But then I dove deeper and I learned more about these details. Beachbody has an interesting defense here using this AB5 law. Not that I'm defending Beachbody in any way, shape, or form, but if these beach body consultants who buy into the opportunity as um, coaches, if they really do meet the qualifications for being independent contractors and not employees, then are they really owed compensation for um, hours worked, overtime pay, etc.? Because as outlined by California law, as independent contractors, they are actually not entitled to that stuff. From the California Department of Industrial Relations, what difference does it make if a worker is an employee rather than an independent contractor. California's wage and hour laws, example, minimum wage, overtime, meal periods, rest breaks, etc. Workplace safety laws and retaliation laws protect employees, but not independent contractors. Additionally, employees can go to state agencies such as the Labor Commission's office to seek enforcement of these laws, whereas independent contractors must resolve their disputes or enforce their rights under their contracts through other means. <sighs> so, all that is what it is. But there's one last thing I want to mention before um, I close. I'd be remiss if I didn't say this. How much of this is the fault of Beachbody as a corporation? And how much of this is the fault of Beachbody consultants out here selling the opportunity and painting a rosy picture of what it's like to be a Beachbody slash body coach. If you are watching this video, then I'm making the assumption that you probably consume anti-MLM related content. And if you do, then you've probably heard MLM horror stories. I know I love listening to MLM horror stories because I love being read to. Multi-level marketing representatives, it does not matter the company. Most of the time will say anything to close a sale or get a recruit. And think about how many MLM top fail videos you've watched. Not just mine, I just mean like in the entire genre. The MLMer is in their Instagram story selling the opportunity and they share factually inaccurate information and slash or they exaggerate the benefits of the opportunity opportunity just to make a sale, just to entice people to want to say yes. And at the end of the day, all we have to do to figure out that they're lying is just look up the correct information, which we usually find on the company website. I do want to say this. I don't believe that every single person in an MLM is a lying scammer who knows what they are doing. I think a lot of these people in these schemes and who get others into these schemes I think that they genuinely think that they're helping other people. I truly believe that a lot of them really think that they're giving someone an amazing gift and an amazing opportunity that will fulfill all of their wildest dreams. For them, when they exaggerate or when they share false information about the realities of the business opportunity, it really may not be intentional. They're just saying the same things that their upline said to them to recruit them. Other people, however, and I think this is more for those people who are like much higher at the top of their not pyramid, the, the million dollar earners, the ones who speak at conventions. I don't believe that they don't know what they're doing. I truly believe that they know the truth about the opportunity. I truly believe that they know, but they just don't care. Because for them, money trumps integrity. They know that the person they're recruiting will probably spend more money than they make. They know that the person that they're trying to recruit is going to spend hours a day 
busting their butt, working the business. And it's probably gonna see little to no return. And that's why when their recruit comes back to them and is discouraged because they're not seeing any, any return, they're not seeing the fruits of their labor, they're always prepared with some motivational BS pep talk, um, telling them to work harder, you know, you need to go all in, all, you know, this, the typical stuff that we always hear. Yeah, I think that those people, particularly, again, the, the super high up ones, I think that they know what they're doing. I think they just don't care. Okay, so I guess in closing, so because of the AB5 law being specific to California, I'm really interested to see where this lawsuit goes. Obviously, I hope that the people bringing the suit are successful, but I can also see how Beachbody's defense using the AB5 law can work in their favor. Um, we'll see is all I have to say to conclude. Okay. If you made it to this point, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you made it to this point, comment Sandlot. Thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your watch time. You guys have no idea how much I appreciate your watch time and the algorithm appreciates it as well. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos similar to it and talking about the occasional MLM lawsuit that's related to the health fitness MLMs that I frequently talk about, why not hit the subscribe button and join the Lemonade Stand? Again, this is a special video. There's not a ton like this, but I do have other stuff and I have three dogs that you're about to get to see. Thank you once again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Queen Lemon, over and out. <laughs> Let's find my dogs. I wonder where my dogs are. Gotcha. Oh, only Onyx is on the bed. Onyx, why are you on the bed, bro? What gives? What gives? You two are in your bed. Hey guys. It is raining all this week and it's been wet today. So there's not gonna be a lot of WALKs this week, unfortunately. May send Onyx and Zeus to daycare. You guys are just lazing around. What gives? I know. It is such a hard life that you have. What's up, dog? Hey, Zeus. What's up, dog? <laughs> Let's say hi to Alpha. Hey, baby. Hey, little hippo. Hey, little hippo. You need to put some stuff on your nose. Your nose is dry. These are just not very, like, energetic right now. What gives? Hmm? Oh, you tired from your job? From your nine to five? You tired from the all the work that you do? See, now, now I'm bothering him. I'm sorry. Would you like to say bye? Can you at least do that? Bye, Onyx. Bye.